The relationship of steam, density, mass and volume is very similar to gas. But for dry saturated steam, which is normally used in boiling steam plants, steam distribution networks, the density of dry saturated steam is directly proportional to a defined temperature and pressure curve. This reduces the number of variables that need to be considered. To measure dry saturated steam flow through a distribution network or boiler system and work out the amount of steam energy actually lost and used by the network, it's important to compare flow in terms of mass measurement or standardized volumetric measurement to calculate the mass balance. Volumetric meters can be used with additional pressure or temperature measurements and flow computers to calculate the mass flow. However, single compact mass meters are becoming more popular in current day use. The mass of steam generated by a boiler can be related to the mass of the fuel used to generate the steam to calculate boiler efficiency. Because the density and hence quality of your steam varies continuously, measurement in actual volumetric units of steam can be inaccurate. The key to accurate, consistent measurement of steam system efficiency is to use mass flow measurement of your steam output and distribution to identify low efficiency boiler operation and plant areas and machines with poor leakage performance or reduced efficiencies. For steam mass flow measurement, consider vortex meters, ABB's unique swirl meter, or differential pressure devices such as Orimaster M. The swirl meter is a very compact design for tight installations around a steam network. With direct two-wire measurement, integration into plant control systems is simple.